<clears throat> hello, hello. We'll see if people come. If no one comes, then I'm gonna get off of here. So if you don't, well, I guess if you don't, if you hear this message, <laughs> then people came on. If they don't, then I delete this. Just trying to fluff my hair out just a little bit. Want to be semi cute on my live. So come on in, say hello. And we will get started. We will get started on this lovely Thursday evening of chit chat. Of a little chit chatting and everything. Whew. Hair just looking crazy. Hi, Aliana. Thank you for hanging out with me on live on uh, TikTok the other night. Okay, so we're about to get started then. People are coming in. All right, let's get started. We are going to talk about underrated montals and manseras for the spring. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I sit in my underrated, not talked about space. Hi, African export. Um, thank you. You're new. Welcome, welcome. So we're going to talk about. Um, a some so we're going to talk about Montals and Manseras tonight, and in the and when I say perfumes, I'm saying that because in the female fra fragrance space, they are not as popular. Like men like uh, Montal and Mansera, especially Mansera, more than the women do. So we're going to talk about um quite a few things that I have from them. I'm going to talk, and so what I did. So as always, I check and see, you know, are they are they being talked about? You know, things like that. So, most, yeah, these haven't been not as much. Now, however, if you are on my channel, we talk about these a lot. So you might go, but no, people talk about them. No, they really don't. We just talk about them. So we're gonna start out with the Montals. Now, the interesting thing about Montals and Manseras is that first, they are a niche brand. They are kind of sister companies because they both, Pierre Montal is involved with both of them. I don't under, quite understand what makes them different. I will say they do use different, of course, their packaging is different. And I will say that Montal uses a different style of oud than Mansera in anything that is oud based. That is one thing that you can say. Um, Montal has a very strong, almost barnyardy oud, whereas um, Mansera has a more smooth, more well-blended oud. Now, the other thing about them both, especially Montal, is that everybody complains about them being screechy and synthetic. Now, let me just say this. I honestly feel that a lot of the conversation that is said about them is based on what other people say. Because let's just be real. Let's have a real moment before we get into the fragrances. Um, most fragrances are synthetic. If y'all think they're using natural ingredients in most of these fragrances... I got a I got some land in New, in Louisiana to, to sell you. Hey Mark, I'm just telling you the truth. So so they always say they have this screechy synthetic thing going on. Okay, whatever. I'm just here to say that pretty much almost everything is synthetic. So maybe you don't like their what they use, but I need I need that word to you know I need people to stop using that word. Oh it's so synthetic. Okay, well they all fucking synthetic. All right, but 
let me let me i'm digressing okay so let's get started so we're gonna start with my towels because i have a few more my towels that are underrated not talked about than the manceros now these are things that i love um like i said not necessarily talked about a lot but are quite lovely to me and perfect for this time of year so the first one uh right okay but i'm saying like the statement synthetic to me doesn't make sense to me because they're all synthetic just say it's screechy just say but this whole thing is synthetic it might have a metallic ring to it whatever but they're all synthetics i mean they're all using aroma chemicals which is a synthetic okay the majority i mean come on now <laughs> But okay, so anyway, so when people, I mean, you ain't gotta like it, you ain't gotta like it, but okay, so here we go. The first one is this one. This is Daydreams. This is a citrusy white floral. Oh, I'm sorry, this, my, this is a tester box. In case you don't know, the tester bottles with Montal have this look, that little pin, it's embedded in it. So before somebody says something to me, that's why I don't take the pin out because you can't. Because I know somebody caught themselves helping me, right? But they all got synthetics. Now it might not smell good, like the citrus might seem a little off, but and I don't like Ula Mimit. So this is a white floral. It's got tiara flower and it's got jasmine and neroli. It's got a little coconut, but really it's got the orange blossom. So this is kind of a citrusy, gorgeous, pretty um, white floral for the summertime. It's a little bit lighter. Um, these, uh, the ones that we're talking about now are definitely give summer springtime vibes because the they have a little airiness about them they're not super heavy really gorgeous fragrances so this is daydreams right here then another one now we talk about this one all the time but i promise you i looked it up and when i look it up i look up to see how many women are talking about things right oh i don't I don't like Ooh Lemon Men either. I thought it was like, no. Mm -mm. It didn't do anything for me. Um, so it's so interesting, this one, because we talk about it. We love it. But when I honestly looked it up to see where women talking about it, no, not really. So this is Ood Amazing. Now, even though this one has, this one has a much... The blend on this oud is much more wearable. It's not quite as harsh because honestly, my towel has a harsh oud they use. But what this is for me, I know people talk about it for vanillas and everything, but what I really do get is the florals in this. So it's a really heavy on the jasmine for me and then the musk and everything. So even though it has vanilla in it, it has like fig and pear. I get the pear. So it starts out with this kind of juicy sweetness, fruitiness, and then I get the jasmine and I get vanillas. But then now, of course, it has other notes that really blend well with it. But the oud is not screechy on this one. It's quite, um, it's definitely um, much more toned down. It's a much more lighter version of oud. You know, not the, oh my God, they're wearing oud. It's a, like a touch of oud that gives it a woodiness. And it is quite, and this is, this is unisex. It smells good on everybody. But on me, I really pull the florals of it, which is why I love it for the spring and summertime. So this is oud amazing. Specifically, the jasmine comes out on me. Wow, nobody's on here today. I hope they watch it later. Daydreams is a little tropical because it does have tiara flower and coconut, but it's not like as tropical as intense tiara. So for me, Daydreams is kind of more, it leaves a little more warm weather, but it's it's not quite as tropical as intense tiara. So it like, it 
it it's it's tropical enough for summertime for warm weather um but it's not so much that it's like it feels like you know like oh this is a suntan this is a just a beach kind of vibe so there's the difference daydreams tends to be a little more it's a little more day party vibe to me as opposed to intense tiari which gives tropical you know vacation vibe i hope that made sense all right <laughs> Another one of mine that um, I love, and not to me, I know nobody really likes this one, but I'm going to tell y'all about it anyway, because maybe somebody will go, you know what, I, I could like this one. Um, this one is Velvet Flowers. This is Velvet Flowers. Now, this is not for everybody, because this is kind of a dry floral. It has this kind of dry and dustiness. Um, I could see it being similar to Jasmine Wisp, but not as much because Jasmine Wisp is a little more fruity. To me, Daydreams leans a little more on the florals. So yes, it does have a kind of Jasmine Wisp, Wisp vibe, but it's actually a little more um, floral for me. So this one is a powdery rose uh, floral. It's got rose, it's got ylang ylang, some jasmine, but it really has this dryness to it. So it's almost like this dry wood is underneath it and you got these florals. This is a really intense floral though. Like when I, this stays on. Now we know, we, you know how we say Montal's and Mancera's last? This one, honey, this lasts on your skin. This lasts forever. But it has like this kind of sweetness to it um, and because it has fruity notes. So it just has some fruitiness to it, but it kind of has this kind of dry floral. I enjoy it. Now, it does not have the best ratings of Fragrantica. It is like people like, no, honey, it smells like the inside of your grandmother's purse and everything. But honestly, it lasts on you. If you love it, like it has this just like... For me, it feels like it's definitely spring for me because when I'm wearing it, I'm just, I'm really getting this spring vibe because there's this, um, hey, Valencia, it's this um, florals going on. Oh, I forgot my water, y'all. It's um, it's all these florals and stuff going on. I don't know. I probably, you know, hey, it's Thursday night. People living their best life. They'll watch it later. So it's like this dry kind of fruity floral for me i love it however it could be seen as kind of old-fashioned it does have a kind of old-fashioned vibe to it maybe that's why i like it because it sort of reminds me of in a good way of being with my great aunt um and her going to like one of her clubs, you know, I, you know, old, old, them older bougie ladies was going, they had their club meetings. Right. And I, it, it reminds me of being around all these women who were just, you know, being just elegant, you know, doing just all elegant. And they had this sense about them, you know, this kind of florally perfumery kind of powdery vibe. That's what this reminds me of. So it reminds me of being in those spaces with my aunt, my great aunt. Um, when I went, I used to go to her club meetings because it just vibes like that. So it has a kind of old fashioned vibe to me, but I love it. So I'm not, like I said, I wouldn't necessarily say this is for everybody, but it is a gorgeous spring perfume. And honey, like I said, it's going to last. If you like it, it's going to love you too. Because you, it's going to, everybody going to smell you coming. Everybody is going to smell you coming. Everybody. I think I'm going to hold this one off because this is more summer. I have another one. I think I'm going to hold this one because this is more of a summer fragrance for me. I have been thinking about that one. So I'm thinking that's kind of on my list because I'm trying to, but I'm trying not to start, you know, because Montal has the same price point as like me and Sarah. So you can wind up with a whole lot of them too. 
so I'm trying not to hold on let me grab my water I'll be right back I have a couple more three more four more to go go on the my oh, five and then we'll be on to some of the man Sarah's yeah All right, next up on here, let's talk. Oh, this is called Jasmine Full. Y'all, this is a very simple fragrance. It is just a white floral. It is jasmine. It is honeysuckle. It is gorgeous. OMG, I just got this one recently. And I was like, what made me wait so long to get this? If you are a white floral lover and you just want to have, and you just want to have, and this is like wearing a garden, right? Right? Exactly, exactly. Everybody be tripping, right? Um, baby, hi, Rochelle, right? Let me tell y'all, this thing is like super cheap. This is like one of the extra, extra cheap montals, right? But this is just a beautiful white floral. It's not, baby, are y'all getting this? Jasmine, honeysuckle, and orange blossom in here. But this, hi, Claudia, this, y'all, y'all, this is so... This is so beautiful. If you are a white floral lover, this is just perfect spring fragrance, spring and summer. You just go smell like a white floral garden. Now, the other thing is it does, it's really good to, it would be really great to layer with things because it's just giving you this cocktail of white florals. The honeysuckle gives it that sweetness and then you've got the orange blossom and the jasmine. This is this is for the white floral white floral lovers. The jasmine is real prominent too, but it's giving this right here. Jasmine full. Jasmine full. Then I picked this up at the same time, and this one is like $50. The testers are like $50, y'all. This is white musk. White musk musk do you hear me if you are a musk lover you want to get this one i wore jasmine full and white musk together you couldn't tell me a damn thing i like a, a musk i really do like a musk with a little bit of spice in it right just a little just a little spice just a little spice and this is a clean musk it's musky it's powdery it's just mm, mm, mm. all it's got is violet leaf your line your line and musk so it is just a clean musk it will pair and this is another one that's going like you're going to be able to like layer this with everything you know because there are certain things you could just wear because you could just wear this this is a tester you can just wear this baby or so it's like a, a floral musk with that yin yin Oh my God, this thing is so pretty. Um, I have not gone over honey, ooh, because I wasn't, but yes, you do. We will talk about it in Discord, honey. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Um, But yeah, white musk, baby. Nobody, and I mean nobody. Did it made me go, see, this is the problem. Here's, let's have a moment for the problem, right? Oh, that's coming. This is the problem for me. Is that now I looked at this, I said, well, what other musk do does Montal have? Maybe I need to try the rest of them. Because they've got a ginger musk. they got a couple more musk. And I'm like, huh, do I need the rest of them? So that is a problem I have and I'm working on. I'm really working on it. I don't know how it's going to go, but I am working on it. 
That's all I can, that's all I can do is go over. Now, let me just tell you what I'm doing with tonight. This is just my underrated spring montage of Mount Manceras. I will be doing the full collection videos ASAP. I'm going to do Mancera first, then Man Montal, but you know, they take a minute because Mancera is going to be almost an hour. I hope, you, I hope everybody ready for it. It's 30-something of them. I'm just saying. If I speak a minute and a half on them, that's going to be like 45 minutes. See what I'm saying? Exactly. So I have to watch the rabbit holes. I got to start dodging the rabbit holes. I got to start dodging the rabbit holes. Well, I should do a whole another Lulu, Lulu on that. I got to dodge these damn rabbit holes. Okay, so next up is Holy Neroli. Holy Neroli. Oh, right there. Now, first off, I this is, you know, this is a new one. I wish they would just start doing this kind of stuff with all of them. This is so pretty to me. I love it. I mean, because this is an ugly bottle. This is an ugly bottle. So, but at least they put a pretty little thing on it. So then it jazzes it up instead of just the dip. I love it. Okay. So anyway, this is Holy Neroli. This is exactly what it says it is. You have to be a Neroli lover to love it. Because when you put this on, um, like, um, you, whoa, see this one always comes off. You have to be a Jasmine lover for this one, right? Because it is a burst of Neroli. You have to love Neroli because it's that green, sharp Neroli in the beginning. So you really do have to like Neroli. And, and then as it dries down, you get that orange blossom with the Neroli. Oh, my goodness. Now, I have to say that I am now more of a Neroli lover. I always loved orange blossom, but it could Neroli can be a little sharp. So you have to like really be prepared for it because it, this is a sharp serious uh neroli so you really have to like that because if you don't it's gonna drive you insane and as it dries down it gets a little woody you get a little musk it's good and it's a little sugary right so i mean of course they complement each other they're the same they're actually the same exact they're from the same exact plant so you know it's just different what what i learned is orange blossom and neroli which i said in the last when i did the video is the same exact thing it's just the way they extract the the fragrance the molecule so orange blossom is a uh neroli is a steam distillation because it's more of an essential oil vibe that's why you get the green the sharpness whereas um orange blossom i forget the other one they extracted that's what makes it come the, it gets more sweet so it's just about the extraction process for them both so then we have rendezvous of paris this is a newer one too love it love it love it love love the thing the thing they were doing now i have to be honest i like this because I like Delina. And the reason why I say this is because it is Delina-esque. The what it, and why I say that is because it definitely has the the um rhubarb and it has um oh, gosh, I'm sorry. So it has the rhubarb in it and it has pear. So it has pear and rhubarb on the top, so it's a little sweet. It's got that that sharp that like rhubarb tanginess to it and then it's got the rose and it's got white for and then it becomes this really pretty floral and um and powdery so i like it now if you are not a fan of delina do not get this so it's it's vibes like delina it is not necessarily a dupe of delina because you know everybody's like oh they tried to dupe it it's not really a dupe of Delina, but it does have similarities to it because of that rhubarb note. Because the first thing you gonna, people are going to say when they smell that rhubarb note is, oh, that's Delina. No, it is not. It has pear. It has rhubarb. It doesn't have the lychee. It's got pear. So it's a little sweeter and juicier with the, with the rhubarb. 
and then the florals it has rose it ha the florals are really beautiful so and and it gets and as it dries down it gets a little sugary a little sweeter on your skin because it's got sugar and vanilla with a little powdery nose so this is really just a really girly go um you know what let me let me say this I will say this. Let me say this about it. This is what I'm going to say. I wouldn't say you need it if you have Delina. But what I would say is if you are running low on Delina or if you have shied away from Delina because of the cost of it now, get this. Because it will give you the same vibe but at a much cheaper price. So I would like, hey, Dre, so I wouldn't say it's a necessary dupe. I wouldn't even say you need it, you know, if you already have Delina. But I think that if you are, like like I said, if you kind of like Delina, but the rhubarb and that leech is a little too sharp, you might like this one better. Or if you like that you, you've worn Delina enough and it's almost gone, then go in and get this one. Because Delina's out of control. You know, I mean, there was a good sin. How much I paid for Delina? Yes, I really do like the matte black with the little, with how they have that on there. I wish they would do more of their bottles like this. Because the Holy the Rosie looks so pretty to me with it. And so does the Rendezvous of Paris. So, and then the last one I have is this latest one I've picked up. Um, and this is Rendezvous a Moscow. And I like it because A is pink. And it's got, you know, a little ombre effect with the pink. So this is a fruity floral, right? It's fruity. It's floral. It's got a little, it dries down. It's got a little amberiness to it. Now, to be quite honest, hi, Jane. <sighs> I like it at a good price point, right? I like it at a good price point. I think it's a cute fragrance. This is a really cute, um, and I'm saying this because did I need this fragrance? No, I didn't. Um, but not everybody has as many fragrances as I have, right? And so when I'm talking about them, sometimes I have to look at it from the lens of somebody who doesn't have what I have. Because not everybody has what I got back here. And so this has pear and peach on it. So it has this fruitiness in the beginning. It has a really good fruit cocktail. So you don't get like one fruit. You get the whole thing because it's got pear and peach and a little coconut and then a little lemon. So it's got a little, it's a really cute, it's a really juicy kind of sweet floral uh, fruitiness, right? But as it dries down, you get the florals in it. And then you get a little musk and it, and it keeps a little sweetness to it. So it stays a little sweet and it's got musk and sandalwood. So it's a really well blended, really pretty, fruity floral. If you are looking for something, if you listen, if you love fruity florals, if you kind of like this vibe and you want something that's a little elegant, because this really does have an elegance to it. It's not like, it's not like like daisy any of the daisies or anything like that it has a little more substance to it because a lot of times when you think of fruity florals they're a little more lightweight a little more airy this has a little more substance to it and a little and and the sweetness is, is a tad thicker because it has that bourbon vanilla in it and some um and the ginger and things so it gives it a really it's one of those fragrances that you're not going to say, oh, it's it's a rose fragrance. It's a fruity floral. You get these fruit, you get a nice little bouquet of flor florals, and it's really quite pretty. Now, like I said, for somebody like me, did I absolutely need this? No, I didn't. But if you're somebody who enjoys this type of fragrance, you're looking for something new, you don't have 50,000 fragrances behind you like people like me then this will be good this will be a cute addition to your collection 
yeah yes go try it out try it out try it out because it's a really cute floral it's a really cute juicy fruity floral right so it's a really i'm just saying i know people be like ah no now let's get into the montauk the manceras so now those are my underrated ones for this year um let's talk about the manceras now interestingly enough because we all vibe together and we are all on here together um some of these i'm gonna say y'all been we've been talking about for a long time lord knows i have been but honestly, in female fragrance community, these are not talked about. They really aren't. Because I went looking for them and I was like, hmm, they really ain't talked about. So I'm going to start off with this one. This is interesting because I had this before and sold it and then I got it again. Now, let me tell you, this was during the time when I was listening to folks and was like, somebody was like, you need to sell it. I was like, okay. This is when I was really just kind of getting into being in the fragrance community, you know, because it's like, let's just be honest. We was bad shit this whole time, but we weren't in the fragrance community. We weren't talking to people that were, you know, into them. We weren't in, I wasn't in fragrance groups or anything like that. So, you know, I got talked into this, right? Hey girl. So this is Sicily. Now, Men love Sicily. I got to tell you, I like it too. It is this juicy citrus. It has pineapple and apple in it. This is one of the few pineapples that I really like. Even though men love this because it's a citrus bomb. But in the summertime, I love it because it's so, it gives you like, if it's just like this kind of, clean fresh juicy vibe because you know sometimes i like citrus in the summertime don't you are you giving like that little lemony vibe a little um orange so this is sicily now i will say this about sicily the reason why i got rid of it before was because it this is one of the few man that does not last that long Kid you not, this does not last long. However, I decided, you know what? I don't care. Right. Oh, yeah. It's dismal. It is. It is dismal. And that's why I got rid of it the first time. But I decided that I wanted to have it. I could layer it with things and just enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? Like I could add this to Jardine Exclusive for any of those and really punch up the the um the citrus, the fruitiness of them and stuff like that. So that's why I went and got it again. Because honestly, this has got some of the worst staying powder power of any man Sarah. I have another one that does. I didn't even bring it out because it annoys me. And I don't even know why I still have it. It's going it's to be my last. It's going to be at the bottom of my list when I do the man series. <laughs> All right. Then next up is this one. And this one is, this one's going to be kind of, this one is kind of like surprising. Um, that I actually like this for me because it kind of leans sim slightly mad masculine but in the summertime i do like cleaner fragrances i like fig in the fr you know things like that so this one is fig ecstasy um this one is a little more and oh, i was surprised everybody was surprised like but i do um see that's a good idea that's a good idea with the ice lemon. Yeah, anything citrusy, ice lemon pound cake. I have the, um, what do I have? Right. I See, I love this too. It's a really good fig. Now, um, ooh, okay. I really love this one. This is a really interesting fig. You get the fig a lot, but... 
it has a little spiciness from the ginger and black pepper. And then it's something about it that wears really just clean on the skin. It's like, I, it has a lot of notes in here. Uh, that's coming, honey. That's coming. But this, who is, this is the kind of more, this is really a, a unisex fig. It can be worn by anybody. It has that just gorgeous, um, just clean, just chill vibe. Fig ecstasy is something like if I was going to be sitting out in the backyard, like I have this thing, <laughs> y'all ready because this is what i'm calling it you know eating on in the yard al fresco you know al fresco we're gonna eat al fresco in the yard and so because that's my thing i said i'm gonna do that more often this summer you know just get out my, put out my, my table put my tablecloth on and just sit out in my backyard and have dinner I don't care if it's hot dogs and hamburgers and with some chips. Let's just sit outside, let the kids run around and just, you know, just enjoy, enjoy being outside. So big ecstasy would be something that I would just throw up. Oh, I need to, you know, I've been on the grill. Let me throw this on. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> keep going. Okay. Now, since we said it, um, Pearl. Now, if you've been around, you, I need to get a new bottle too. Pearl is one of my favorite man Sarah's of all time. I love it. I love the, and the reason, part of the reason why I love it is because I think that one of my first introductions to fig, um, one of the, my first introductions to fig was a fragrance that was a rose and fig fragrance. And this is what this is. Now you do get that you do get the whole um the woodiness of the fig, but as it dries down, you get that juicy sweetness of fig and you get that beautiful rose. And that's why I love it because it's just a beautiful fig and rose fragrance. Huh, you can Pearl will always be one of my favorites. Really it will be. Now, of course, this is one that we all love. We all love. Yeah, if you like Fig and Rose, you need to try Pearl. And I think Pearl doesn't get the love because I'm telling you, honestly, I feel like so many people just rag on Manceras and Montals because everybody talks about them like that. I'm just being honest. I think that so much is said about them negatively because enough people have said it and enough people are going to go with what they've heard about them. Because the interesting thing is the ones that they'll say they love are the ones that everyone says they love. Like I'm going to say, it, I don't like instant crush, but I don't like that BR 540 thing. But I don't like instant crush. But when when you hear women talk about man Sarah's, they talk about certain ones. They talk about instant crush. They talk about velvet vanilla. They talk about co the roses vanille. The ones that everyone talks about. But I'm not going to say nothing. I was looking at Oud Edition. So now, let's talk. And y'all might as well go and say, yes, throw up the fire. Throw up the fire. This is Oud Orchid. The interesting thing about this is that it's more of the fruitiness of it. And I know it's got, and it's that peach and mandarin. Mansara has a thing about putting peach in fragrances. Have you noticed that a lot of their fragrances have peach in them? And so that peach is giving it and the florals, even though all they say is orchid, it's just the florals there. It's not like you're going, oh my God, this is just like florals, florals, florals. 
but this is just like this juicy gorgeous floral and as it dries down you get a little woodiness and a little musk I love this fragrance. It took me a long time to get it because when I kept looking at the notes, I was like, it don't sound like anything. But for some reason, I must have saw a good price on it. I picked it up right here. Now, let me just tell y'all this. I'm not going to put out Wild Python because y'all know whenever I get into my Manceros, I talk about it. But, Man but Wild Python is underrated. Like I said, oh, there's only three of us that I have heard that I could find videos that talked about Wild Python. Me, Helen, and Veronica. That's all I'm saying. I'm not going to, but y'all know, I, I can always pull out my, I can always pull out my Wild Python. But I'm not today. But wild python, y'all know, y'all know how I feel about wild python. Y'all know how I feel about wild python. I still haven't gotten purple flowers. Now, here's another one that I love that really don't get no love. I mean, really don't get no love. This one is gold prestigium. Now, let me tell y'all, Gold Prestigium is so beautiful. This is, this is a citrusy leather. Now, it has oud in it. It has um, a little florals and everything, but what really rings out, it's a citrusy leather. So that's why I love it for the spring and summertime, right? So like, you know, leathers can be super heavy. This is not, um, it doesn't let, it doesn't, um, it does it's not as heavy and like winter like because of the citrus i find this so much cuter in the spring and summertime so it's got the citrusy vibe to it but it has spices and um a little bit of oud but it's a citrusy leather and as it dries down now you will see you will get the florals you get a little floral mix on the orange blossom and rose but you really get that leather and the musk and the oak moss so there we go go prestigium so if you like leather fragrances and you want something that's a little lightweight you want something a little lightweight you want something that you can wear in the summertime there you go there you go. So this is the one that I'm, and with me coming back through all of my man Sarah's, it's making me like go through and, you know, try some more on. Uh, so now that we have this one, this one is gold incense. Now, let me say this. If you are thinking that it's going to be incense like when we think about that, um, which is um, very frankincense, this is not. Because we have to remember that not all incense smells like frankincense. Because when it comes down to fragrances, when they say incense a lot of times they're talking about frankincense. But this one is, it's got a powderiness to it. This is a floral. It's got a little coffee in it, not too much. So it's got a little, little smidge of coffee with some. Do I have one? What? What? Huh? Do I have one that I want? What's that? What you mean? So this one is, this is, is gorgeous floral, it's powdery, it's got a little bit of coffee in it, so you get that kind of like 
coffee vibe to it, you know, just a little. It's not too much. It's just a little hint of coffee in it. And then it's got vanilla and musk. This is quite pretty. It, But if you smell it, it does, you can see why they call it gold incense. Because it does kind of like vibe like if I was, I could I could have this in my house. Um, do I have one? What do you mean do I have one that I want from them? Um, I want the new Montal. Uh Hi, Carla. Mm. But this is actually really good. But it has like a powderiness to it, which makes it quite elegant. You know, because, you know, we love, for me, powdery gives it like kind of elegant vibe. And that's what it does. So it has a slight powderiness on me. And then it gets a little spicy. It's warm. And then it has the beautiful florals in it. So this is a really pretty fragrance. It's really no one really talks about it. Um, but it's 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 a gorgeous fragrance. And honestly, these are the type of florals that you could wear all year. Like oud orchid, you could wear all year. This you could wear all year. Um, wild python all year. You know, there are certain ones that you just wear all year long around. That would be one. And this is like very, it just really vibes like it's just, hey. This vibes like money. And when I say that, it vibes like, you know, somebody who's very understated and got money. Not somebody who's got to go out and buy the latest Killian. Um, yeah, I love Oud Exclusive too. Oud Exclusive is beautiful. So it's not, it's like somebody, um, no, it is not. You know, I don't like black orchid. If it smelled like black orchid, I would not want it. Oud orchid is nothing like black orchid. Nothing. Because you know, Drea, you and I have a thing about black orchid. No, it is not. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Not at all. Not at all. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. Mm -mm. Now, this is interesting here. Let me show y'all. This is black vanilla. Now, this is a vanilla fragrance. Um, I have not tried that one yet. I have not tried that one yet. I go through phases with buying Manceras because, you know, during the, when I found out about Manceras, I lost my mind and all of a sudden I had 20 something of them. So then I'll go through a phase where I'll buy a few of them and then I'll stop buying them. So I bought, I'm going, I'll probably be buying a few more soon. So it's like, every, you know, it's like, Every nine months to a year, I, I buy a few more because I buy so many of them. You know, I have so many. It's like, but anyway, this is black vanilla. And now I know everybody loves it for the vanilla, but honestly, on me, it's about the jasmine on me. I get, uh, I get primarily the florals, especially the jasmine. So on me, it's almost like a vanilla jasmine. And as it dries down, then I get the vanilla, then I get the musk. So I know everybody loves it as this beautiful vanilla, but for me, it is a, it is a very, really pretty jasmine vanilla for me. Now. Mm hmm. See, so, yeah, so yeah, and see, that's the thing, you know, and that's the other thing. I'm trying to find more two ounces of Mancera so I don't have these monster bottles sitting here. Now, that's that one. And this is the last Mancera I'm going to talk about. And I know some people don't like it, but I, I, I. I think it's cute. I think it's really cute, especially for this time of year. I really like it. Um, and it really came and went when nobody talking about it. When nobody talking about it. So this was from last year, from last year of the wild. Now this is not for everybody, but I like it. It's a it's a very soft strawberry fragrance.
The strawberry is only there fleetingly. It's not there for long. But I will say it smells even better than it did last year when I got it. Because last year I liked it. But ooh, I think I'm going to like her more. Even It might be because I'm in a strawberry mood too. But this is a strawberry. It's got strawberry. It's got pear. It's got heliotrope. So it's kind of powdery. Sweet and powdery in the beginning. And then as it dries down it gets a little musky. And it still keeps the sweetness. Ooh. I love holding on to things and then trying them again. And be like oh okay. Either you fall in love with them even more and like them even more, or you be like, no, ma'am. This is called Of the Wild. This came out last year. Oh, so it's a powdery kind of strawberry-ish vibe well, especially when you first put it on but as it dries down it does get sweeter it does get to be something you're like okay okay i see you i see you so that is it for my underrated manseras and montals for the spring and summer of course stay tuned for the full ones Stay tuned for the full vibe. But that was the full. So how many do we go over? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 fragrances. Right? Yeah. So, ouch, my knee is hurting me today. I don't know what's that about. But, um, oh, let me check these. So, yeah, so these are the ones that I see that are most underrated. And, like I said, when I go and when I before I do these, I always search on YouTube. And let me say, I say underrated because I say underrated. Um, uh, now, and now I will say this Valencia is correct, the name is so off, it makes absolutely no sense. It's like, why did y'all name this wild of the wild? That is true because it is a very girly, very soft fragrance. I have to agree with that. Because when I when I tried, I was like, ah, what are they talking about? But also, wild python makes no sense as the name. I was like, why did y'all name it wild python? Because that's what kept me away from it for so long. That's what kept me away from it so long. I was like, why a python? But yeah, so, um, but yeah, when I look up things, I always try to see how many people are talking about them. And it's so interesting that, you know, honestly, it is becoming quite interesting. When I look up fragrances that I own, that's probably why I can't even sell a lot of them. Is that honestly, um, ooh, Versace Blonde sounds good. Um, I wouldn't even mess with these, right? It's quite interesting how very few of my fragrances out of all of these fragrances really don't get that much hype. Now, of course, I have hype stuff. You know what I'm saying? I have the Dama Biancas. I have the Zerjavs. I have quite a few things that are, you know, well known in the com in the fragrance community. But there's always there's so much um, that is out there that really you just don't hear people talking about. And can I just have a moment? Can we have a moment for affordables? Can we have a moment to talk about them? Because I do have some more coming in. Can we talk about them? Okay, good to know. Um, can we just talk? Can we talk? Because I'm I'm about to say something. First off, did I not tell y'all that people was gonna start having these honest moments in their videos and talking about PR? Can I not? Did I not tell y'all that was coming? Did I not tell y'all that was gonna come? Trust me, y'all gonna hear some more people say some shit about PR and how how fragrance people are doing. I told y'all that shit was coming. So 
So now I'm going now I'm gonna say something. So I'm gonna start a bandwagon for this one. Can we talk about affordable fragrances? And can we talk about that you see people doing these affordable videos and they and I swear to God, I need them to fucking find some shit. Right, the YouTube confessionals. Because hold up. Let's just say this. The people who talk as shit, they know this because they were doing it too. Let's just be honest. They ain't like me who just can tell the shit is bullshit. They were actually doing this. So now they want to confess about it. But throw everybody else under the bus like they ain't involved. So anyway, the only one who ain't is Claire Smith. Anybody else that comes out of their mouth with that bullshit. No, this is because it's cool to say it now. Because let's just be honest. We know a lot of people watch me, but they'll never speak to me. Why? Because of the way I talk. Anyway, so that's why I stay in my fucking lane. But let's talk about affordables. I... <laughs> I'm going to need people because now there are some people who do who are into affordables who really do buy them. But the the bigger people. Let's just talk about them. I'm not talking about people my size, you know, smaller people who go and get that shit. There's only a few people who really do uh, affordable that have larger followings. When you see them pull out that bullshit that you see everybody pull out and say affordable fragrances. Now the first thing is right here. A lot of times they really ain't affordable. They're really not affordable because they're and and I need people to understand and don't say, well, this is and here's the thing that I that's uh, some snarky ass shit to say. Well, you know, affordable is different for people. Now, there's a bottom line that you could just say that in general, if you are $50 or less, that's probably going to be affordable because most people can. OK, people can do that. Right. People can do that. But to say something around $100 is affordable because it's affordable to you is ridiculous. The reality is $50, $30. That's affordable to people. Right. And exactly. So when they're pulling these out and you can see that they really aren't into them. Why? Because they're usually the same shit you see everybody else talking about. It's the same shit that you see. Now, don't get me wrong. Some of those affordables are really good. But if they don't have anything but besides what everybody else has, you know that they're only getting these affordables to say they have some to be relatable, to be relatable, just like everybody's rushing to get the Middle Easterns. And now I am slightly over them because now everybody and their mama and what you're gonna see is you see you're seeing channels that that's all they're doing like see chronicles she's been doing it right that's her thing there's some channels that have been around doing it right but then you see all these people jumping on and rushing to buy them i'm like oh god Uh, so I, so you will see, I have them. I'm going to do a spring Middle Eastern. If I see one that interests me, I'll get it. But I'm not, I'm, I, I, because it's like, okay, okay, okay. And don't get me wrong. I don't think the quality is off. I don't think anything like that, but I am just over the oversaturation and everyone now acting like oh my god middle easterns right oh no see chronicles ain't new to it see chronicles is who listen that's who i watch to find out right and then everybody's gonna declutter because like i said uh 
<laughs> That's a good point. You're right. Because you're right. That's a good one. Good good point, Mark. Right. They're trying to hype up to get that, that, that money up so they can buy what they really want. And that's honest because when you see, I mean, come on now, you see so many people, and I'd be like, quit lying, quit lying, you do not like this shit. You do not like it. Stop it. Stop talking about like that. Hi, Shirley. So <laughs> it's like I was talking about with my seniors, we were talking about cognitive biases, and we were talking about, you know, the strategies that they use. Um, uh, the strategies that they use to get people marketing. And one of them, of course, is FOMO and the sheep mentality that so many people have. So it's like everybody follows me. They said it. Come on, man, man. Just like. Just like these extremely high priced body oils that are being touted and everybody's running to get them. Hi, Shirley. Just like, just like, okay, let's, so let's put it out there. Everybody trying to say that they love Jackie Ina's fragrances. Now here's when we go, this one we go know what's really, this when the real deal comes out. This is when the real deal comes out is at the end of the year. When the at the end of the year, when people do their favorite fragrances of the year, we gonna some, we gonna see how many people are saying Jackie Ina's fragrances are on that list. I, but. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't help myself. I can't help myself. I try, but fuck it. You know, because I said I'm going to do differently. You know, listen, I had this moment. Let's talk. I had a moment. Right? I have a moment, right? Where I said, maybe I should stop doing this. Right? Maybe I should. Maybe I should just keep these thoughts in my head and let people be stupid. But I said, fuck it. Because at the end of the day, I, you know what? It's like, and I'm just being honest. Um, and this is why these confessionals are coming up, right? Because people are compromising in order to be semi-successful. And that's a hard space for me. You know, um, because it's hard for me to lie, you, you know, to, to it's hard for me to back down on what I think. It really is. I've never been that person. So, I mean, because let's be honest. <laughs> let's just be honest. You know, I could I could back this up. I could run around and I could buy the stuff that everybody talks about and ooh and ah and shit about it, but that's not where I am. And so I had to like say, nah, Lou, you can't do that shit. Because I had a moment I said, Well, maybe I should at least buy samples. Maybe I should at least buy some travel sprays. I said, But bitch, what the fuck would you spend that money on that shit for? That thirty dollars could go on something better. That thirty dollars could be my Starbucks for the week. Let's just say that I would rather buy Starbucks than some of this shit. So if it means that I'm not as popular in the grand scheme of things, I just won't. And I just had to say, so So now, you know, I will work on other streams of revenue, you know, revenue streams that are fragrance related because 
I just can't do it. Like for instance, I just, you know what? It's it, like, for instance, this is real. Now they haven't reached out to me or anything. They haven't, but I was like, so what would you do? Um, if so, I'm on guard, you know, wanted you to, to, you know, you, I was like, but I don't buy from them because I'm too cheap. And so like, listen, I can be an affiliate. <laughs> I can, I can get Joma Shop affiliate. I'm trying to get Fragrance Net affiliate, right? Why? Because that's where I shop. I wish Fragrance Buy had one. I'd get that. I'd be on their affiliate list too. But it's hard for me to think about dealing with companies that I don't even purchase. I, I, if I'm not willing to spend my own personal money, why would I tell you to do that? And I know. Well, listen. At this point, ain't none of them bitches. Go and contact me. They like take that bitch off the list, bitch. This bitch is insane, you know. So I'm just here to say that is that is that I'm just you know. So I I guess and I had this moment. I was like, you know, I was you know right. I had this moment and I was like. Maybe I should, because I'm here, confessional. I had a moment when I said, well, maybe I should just, you know, get the sample set of Jackie Ina stuff. And then I mentally hit myself in the head like, bitch, you better not. I'm serious. I said to myself, maybe I should. And then I said, I mentally hit myself in the head and said bitch you better not because you only doing it because it's so I said no so I said no I mean like you see let's I am not opposed to new fragrances. I have Alien Hypersense. I have some new. I have the new Montals. But that's like all them damn fools who bought that Beyonce shit, and we and we already talked about the big person who all of a sudden said it was one of the worst fragrances of the year. That shit is one of the most disappointing fragrances of the year. But you was wearing that silver motherfucking hat and trying to make it sound like it was okay when you was trying to act like you loved it when it first came out. But now you posting it up like it's one of the most because it's okay now to say that. The only people still wearing that shit is the beehive. Well, of course, we'll see what it is, is that, yeah, I saw that. Now, honestly, there's a couple of them that look quite interesting to me. Did they finally announce it? Because I got a whole, I got a whole TikTok I had done a while ago about it that I could finally post up. <laughs> Let me see. Let me call my trim move. Let me go on to my Instagram. <laughs> Has she finally officially uh she has talked about it yet? Okay, because I was so sure gonna talk about it. When yep. But yeah. That's true. Well, and that's what I had to say. I had to say, okay, you know, it's okay. You know, it was like no you 
and like I said, I had a moment, and I then I hit myself mentally in the head, like, no, ho, you too fucking old to be trying to. Here's what I'm gonna say. Um, at this at this big age, to chase popularity. At this big age, to chase popularity on social media Yeah, we don't know anything about that. She just put it under her name. Um to <laughs> And not to say that you cannot be on social media at my age doing your thing, but when you chase it, and I mean try to run with the trends and be part of the trendy world. What the hell is that with the okay? Um <laughs> you, you keep saying it's Cody. <laughs> um you know, so, but look, Jackie happy, she, she laughing her ass straight to the bank on them dumb motherfuckers. Jackie is laughing her way straight to the bank, straight to the bank on their asses, <laughs> straight to the bank. She like, fuck you, bitch. You can talk all the shit you want about me, but I got paid. I got paid. Right. I will not knock her hustle. Just, but here's the thing. But see, here's things that I heard in like Facebook groups and stuff was um, people like, <laughs> well, let's just say this. Fumi is the one who says she don't like say noir now. Just so you know. <laughs> right? I just want you to know that's what we're talking about. She's now stated his, that it is one of the most disappointing fragrances. <laughs> there was a whole little back and forth about that. <laughs> In a fragrance group. <laughs> right remember she was mad she was upset because they didn't get there on time i need my say noir <laughs> now nah, it's the most it's one of the most. <laughs> listen when i saw that fugly ass bottle i knew i wasn't getting right <laughs> because as we said before, Beyonce has had a has a history of these things not doing well. <laughs> you say her redacted review. mess is gone right and here's the thing about life you could change your mind about things but let's just be honest the way you know people it was hyped and that's what I keep that's why and I and I have to push through that issue I have with my with it um Um, because of this frenetic pace that everybody's trying to get all these things with now, you know what I'm saying? It's just this, um, the, the frenetic pace, the franticness of, I got to rush and get these fragrances. Like, let's just be honest. People ran out to buy Jackie Ina's fragrance. The damn thing just came out on the second we are now where on the 11th and by the second, right? 
by the second, everybody who's um yeah, I think the Fumis are getting confused. I think she's talking about Fumi, the makeup person, and we're talking about Fumi, the perfume person. So two, two different people, Africa. Yeah, that's two different people. Um, but it's like they're rushing out so they they can be one of the first, which is beauty. That's the beauty community. And they're rushing out to buy what everyone's, they think is going, you know, is about to be, everybody's talking about. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's not the Fumi we're talking about. Uh, thank you for, because I was like, who's she talking about? Now I get it. Yes, that Fumi is totally different. But I was like, uh, <laughs> yeah, that Fumi, that's a <laughs> Nah, we, we talking about different Fumi. Um, but it was like, I always got something falling around me. Um, but it's like every, you know, this whole rush. And I have to be honest, it kind of, it, it, it irritates me. And I'd be like, fuck it. I'm not putting out any, you know, I don't want to put out anything because it's just like, because you get, you get, it's like, oh, here we go. Cause I swear to God, if you in Facebook groups, if you are in Facebook groups, you saw everybody, as soon as they start talking about, as soon as Jackie dropped that one little video, everybody lost their fucking mind. Oh my God, Jackie, I is coming out with a fragrance. I know I have to get it. It's going to be so good. And then when she showed up for it, it was like, oh my God. And then. I saw somebody who's like, well, you know, I like it and I like to support black women. I like to support black women too. I like to support them, but we have to get out of this mindset that we have to support just because they are black. I'm not going to just support you just because you got the same, you got some melanin in your skin. I'm not. And the reason why I'm saying that is that I still want it to smell good. And there's enough black folks making fragrances that if you want to support them, support some good shit. Not just because it's somebody who's popular. Because somebody popular made it and that's what it is because that's why you're supporting it because everybody's talking about it you're not rushing to buy dawkins aroma because ain't nobody talking about it you're only you know what i'm saying and it's like <sighs> so so let's not put that tag on shit to make it our reason for supporting it Support it, yes, but understand that, um, that I'm, I, I just can't justify my money going to something that I'm looking at going. I don't think I want it, and that's what I said. I was like, like I said, I thought about getting the sample sizes. You know, okay, I'll get the sample set so I could try it out. Just like they were talking about Brown Girl Jane. Now, I don't know how they got they shit, whoever, they, somebody got some money behind them. Because Brown Girl Jane, she doing her thing. And somebody said they don't work. They're too light. I agree. Remember? I got Brown Girl Jane when they first came out. And the fragrances are nice. But the damn things don't last. And I couldn't just, I wouldn't tell anybody, I can't justify telling somebody to spend the money for those with the longevity that they have. The fragrances are nice, but when you're talking about $60, $65 for a 30 mil, I'm not going to tell you to go out and buy that. When, yeah, the bottles are cute. Very cute. Very, very chic. Very cute. But, um, so I was like, and so somebody was trying to, you know, like, well, you know, I keep, I support um oh Sebastian Craig, oh yeah, they gonna be money. They gonna be money. Uh 
And to be honest, you know, Sebastian's going to work with some real perfumers. Because Sebastian, where does Sebastian make his money, y'all? Can somebody tell me that? I mean, besides fragrances at this point. Because what does Sebastian do? Does, does anybody know? Girl, you ain't miss nothing. You ain't miss nothing. You ain't miss nothing. That's what I'm thinking because he seems to like live a very nice life. Okay, that would make sense. Okay. Because his stuff is like, okay. Oh, you know, I use this new product. I really like it. Right, right. He, honey, he be traveling. Um, I use this new product that I got for, uh, a sample. Well, I got this for free. Listen, y'all better start watching these Ulta um, free things, right? Because they're giving away. A lot of times they have them full sizes in them spending $75 and get this. I've been like really in getting into this. So this is something called Tea Tree Lavender Mint Overnight Moisture Therapy. I got to put this on my list of for my best, my favorites. Because it's about time I do a favorites. <laughs> it takes me forever to do favorites. I am so bad about things like that. But honestly, I feel like I'm just, I, that's, an, that's another one that you won't see on my channel too often and um oh he is in the music industry then that makes sense um you won't see did i tell y'all did i tell y'all that my son-in-law threw out a box of my damn plants i know he did he don't want to admit to it So now I got to reorder my plans. I'm so annoyed. So annoyed. Okay. I'm not say that I mean, I get why, how it happened. He saw a box. He saw some dirt. Some bags with some dirt in it. Because, you know, when you buy... No, it wasn't intentional. It was a, it was a mistake. What happened? Okay, when you buy, if you if you've never bought like plants, um, no, he didn't mean to. If you've ever bought plants, not and these aren't like potted plants. These are bare roots that I was buying and bulbs to plants in the yard. When you buy them, they come in bags with dirt, so you can't see anything usually. It's just a bag of dirt. It looks like you know it's peat moss. It's you know it's peat in it to keep it you know. So I guess he saw the box. And he thought I took everything out of it. <laughs> Unfortunately, the recycling people came yesterday, and I think that's when he threw it out because it was sitting there yesterday morning. And I meant to bring it down here with all my other plant stuff because I'm going to be working this weekend. So yeah. So now I need to. So now I gotta reorder everything. Because I had I'm real upset because I had tuberose. I have bought tuberose tubers to like have two I was gonna grow tuberose this summer. I'm still am. I'm gonna reorder them. But I was I was gonna I'm gonna grow tuberose. So so yeah. So yeah, that's it. <sighs> I'm trying to remember what I ordered. I'm trying to remember everything I ordered. Oh, when I get, yeah, once they grow, I definitely post some pictures. I have, um, cause I want to, I'm doing, I want to do this whole cutting garden thing. I want to have some flowers to cut, you know, just to have, you know, to, um, 
you know, for vase, you know, to have in the house. So I'm doing ranunculus. Am I doing ranunculus? I think I'm doing ranunculus, freesias. I bought some freesias. Um, and, um, something else that I, the plan is for me to like cut them in half, you know, they'll be frank. Oh, we do this. Cancel this for now. All right, y'all. It's 1030. I guess I should go on and go to sleep now. We've been on here for almost an hour and a half. We went on here for almost an hour and a half. So thank you all as always. We had a good time. I appreciate you. My hair is kind of looking good tonight. I'm about to put it back up in this bud. You all have a great night. Get some rest. See you later.